Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Where's your phone? Oh, it's in my bedroom. What else would it be? And Dad's electric shaver is in the kitchen. You see, all our appliances are on an adventure this weekend. <laughs> Well, are you proud of yourself, stirring things up? Why didn't you just let him think his friends were doing him a favor? Ah, oh, yes, the, the Martin Crane approach. Better living through denial. You did the same thing with death. Now, you couldn't just pretend that nothing was going on back there. Death, I'm a psychiatrist. I don't pretend. I confront, I resolve. Oh, yeah, you really resolved this. Now she's moving out. You know, I swear, you just go looking for trouble. Well, that is so untrue. And perhaps you can explain this. <laughs> A grown man's obsession with a sponge? No, I can't. The last two days, I have asked you again and again, as politely as I can, to wring out the sponge, but you don't even have the consideration to respect my feelings. Because your feelings are stupid. But they're my feelings, and important to me. And because of that, you should have the courtesy to respect them. Oh, just like you respect my feelings when I ask you not to move my chair around. Well, that makes no sense at all. Oh, all right. You want me to dry that sponge? I'll dry that sponge. <laughs> Give it about a minute. Oh, that's mature. Oh, boy, you know what a tortured little world you live in. Newspapers strewn all over the place. Sponge germs coming after you. So when you can sleep at night. Oh, my dreams get me by. Like the one where I strap you in your chair and run around the house turning on all the lights. Even in the rooms I'm nowhere near. Boy, that electric meter must really be spinning now. <laughs> Evening, Al. Did you boys have a nice weekend? Great. Well, I had the loveliest time. Hey, off. We found this little bed and breakfast right off the coast. I took my decision over with Joe, and he agreed. It really is the best thing for everyone. Of course, I'll still be here during the day to help your father with his exercises. But nights and weekends, it'll just be the two of you carefree bachelors getting into trouble together. Oh, I'm usually just underfoot around here anyway. So, you see, my decision is best for everyone. Well, I've had a long weekend, so good night. Good night, Deb. Frazier? What? You know how an Oreo has that soft, creamy filling between two hard cookies? That's what keeps them together. I see your point, Dad. Now, Daphne's kind of the center. I'll go and talk to her. Now, you and me, we'd be the cookie part. I get it. May I come in? Yes, of course. Thank you, Daphne. Uh, Daphne, uh, you can't go. You have to stay. I've only just recently realized how important you are to us. See, if you, if you go, Dad and I will kill each other. <laughs> I'm not just tossing out hyperbole here. I'm speaking in the most literal sense. Dad and I, both dead. <laughs> only he'll be lying there with a, a bacteria-ridden sponge protruding from his mouth like a bloated tongue. <laughs> I don't know. You don't really want that on your conscience, do you? <laughs>